Hi there. Right now I have uh, going to do an evaluation of hydrogen gas, but I want to explain the setup. And what we have here is two battery boxes um, for solar energy. And this one over here where you can see there are eight six volt batteries. These are crown uh, batteries. And what we're going to do is I want to just show the box here. The boxes are about uh, 53 inches long by maybe 17 inches in depth. And then the height here is about maybe, this one's a bit higher, probably 30 inches here. And then this over here is about the same, but the depth's a little bit shorter. Um, we have a little bit of a, uh, a platform on the bottom of this one due to uh, some other pipes and stuff we had to stay away from. And over here, same thing, we have another string of uh, eight six-fold batteries. And again, the same type, Crown. These are, I think, the CP, they're about a 490, no, 395 amp hours at this capacity, 20 hour rate. So, and these will be later for monitoring points, which uh, we don't have on this side, but we do have on this side. That's what these fuses are here. and. Uh, and that goes to this uh, battery monitor box right here. So we don't have to keep going down here and actually monitoring. Alright, uh, the other thing is we do have some temperature probes. We also have to want to monitor and try to keep the battery at a reasonable temperature. Room, you know, well, actually a little bit below room. But, you know, basically just don't want to get them too hot either. And the same thing over here. And then what you see here is the hydro nose. Um, hydrogen sensor and that is going to, as you can see it's on right now and that we're going to use as a, for evaluation we can hook up a uh, connector a serial port to that and actually monitor during the process of charging what the hydrogen gas is going to be and then over here we have a sealed pipe that the uh, cables are going through and you can see them going through here and an incline, there's a bit of an incline, this box here, this box is higher than this box. So, let's, and then we have another, um, basically going to the outside, a pipe here. And it just stops on the bottom here. And then we also have a hole on the top here to let some hydrogen gas out. And you can see this going to the outside world, outside. And we also have another pipe over here and there's a fan again this is a brushless fan and we have a way to close and open the vote again we have problems with a lot of cold air because it can get you know minus 20 in some cases as much as minus 30 in the winter time here this is also another exhaust pipe going out so basically we have two pipes uh, at currently here one in each box now we don't have another pipe coming in and we do have them hooked up so the other thing I wanted to explain is we do have a rubber mat on the bottom of these things to collect any kind of battery acid we do seal you can see some gasket right here and we do seal and caulk all the corners to make these as airtight as we can to keep the hydrogen gas uh, in the box and suspending outside rather than inside the building here Alright, and I guess one more thing I wanted to show is, right here is our evaluation kit. Um, we extended the wires here, we spliced them out, and then we, of course, sealed it up here too. And those wires are what's going to this guy right here, you'll see this. And again, you can see the temperature sensor probe there too. We have one on top and also one on the bottom of the batteries. I'm using a uh, Davis weather station for monitoring the uh, and charting the uh, temperature of the batteries that are being charged. And then this goes again to the hydro nose hydrogen sensor there. Alright. Um, oh, I did want to show you that. Which gets the serial port. This is the other end that will go to your laptop. Or a laptop in our case. This is just a box we had. It was actually for worms. <laughs> This is something I'll put the evaluation kit board in. Kind of see it down there. And this is a 9 volt, 200 milliamp DC uh, supply. And that's what it takes to uh, 
basically set this up. So I'm going to close this back up. So we went here. Just wanted to show that uh, again, this is a sealed box. We do have thermometers here too that we can evaluate. Currently, it's about 70 degrees. <clears throat> Same thing over here. I guess I can close this now. And we do have latches here. Put some pressure on the, on the boxes here. And we also monitor the temperature here. We also do seal all these coming up from the box too. This goes to the uh, we got uh, Xantrax right there. You can see it's a uh, inverters. We have one here. This one is a spare that isn't currently being used. And then this is our charge controller from the panel. Uh, this is a three. We have three kilowatts of solar panels. And this is what we're using for the uh, uh, solar charge controller, which is also charging the batteries. And then uh, just the different switches, DC switches, to uh, turn on the inverter. These are 250 amp. And then we also have a, uh, a 300 volt 80 amp breaker right here for the charge controller. And as we talked about earlier, and then this is the communication actually, Ethernet between the boxes, that's how they uh, sync up the inverters. And then, then we also have our battery monitor box. And then eventually this is just going to the, uh, the grid and also different outlets. Um, we just have some outlets that are just strictly for uh, battery backup. Okay, and then that's the AC grid coming in, which can also charge the batteries. All right, that's that set up there. I'm gonna go over here and uh, get this set up and get it ready with a laptop and start monitoring. Okay, before we start this experiment, we are going to, uh, as you can see, this is a valve within this pipe here on this box, and we're gonna have this in the close. I'm gonna have to like rub it. I can just feel it catching there, and then I know it's a pretty good tight fit. And we're going to start that in the closed position just to show you how the hydrogen gas can build up. And actually, to my surprise, how quickly it can build up too. So, that's it.